From Fox 5 News, this is Good Day New York. Who does not like hot dogs? I mean, I... Who said I don't like hot dogs? I, that's what I'm saying. There is not a hot dog that you've passed that you haven't eaten. I mean, especially at a ball game. We're looking at a baseball game, of or course. Or at a ba b backyard barbecue. You can get, uh, not only can you get hot dogs now at the stadium, you can get sushi. But today, we're sticking to hot dogs. We are. A baseball classic. You know, the All-Star game is tonight, right? Yeah, it's perfect for tonight. There's a new cookbook out. It's called Wieners Gone Wild, Out of the Ballpark Recipes for Extraordinary hot dogs and we have the author with us Holly Schmidt nice to be have you here this Thank morning you for having me great to be here so what is it about hot dogs uh, got you so excited <laughs> well seven billion hot dogs are consumed in this country between Memorial Day and Labor Day every year and there was no book we've eaten at least six million ourselves <laughs> hot dogs are awesome but we just like ours with a little mustard you like to really zhuzh it up well I have to tell you hot dogs have a ton of untapped potential. Okay. Hot dogs, we like to think of hot dogs as the new bacon. The smokiness, the saltiness really complements a wide range of foods, as you'll see in the recipes in the book. Well, so show us something new. We are going to make some hot dogs for you today. Okay, You're ready? Yes. We're going to start out with the sole dog. Now, the sole dog starts with a buttermilk biscuit Look at that bun. bun oh, right? that looks delicious. We get our buns from, you know, Wonder Bread. Well, <laughs> not, this is something special. Not anymore, because you can make these delicious homemade biscuits in 20 minutes. Everybody should make these. So what we do is we butterfly a hot dog, which really just means you cut it down the middle so it can hold more stuff. And do you have any particular ones? Do you like Nathan's? Do you like... It depends on where you live. Hot dogs are still very much a regional food. So really you have to kind of test them out and okay. decide what you like. So Let's dress this thing up. We're so we butterfly the hot dog. Then we top it with cheesy grits. Oh my goodness. Right? You want grits on your hot dogs? Yes, yes. I'll try it. I want uh, and then, and then what else? What else? Maybe what else? Relish. What Bacon else? barbecued caramelized onions. Now, oh, what oh, I do oh, when oh. I make this is I make extra onions because it's a delicious condiment on burgers, on pork chops, on almost anything. It's amazing. Holly, I'm going to try this one. Can you try one for Greg? Yes. Something give, a little, uh, yeah. Okay. Give me mustard. <laughs> what I'm going to make for you, All right. forget about mustard, okay? okay? What I'm going to make for you is the salty dog. And the salty dog starts with a grilled bun. Grilled bun, course, check. A hot dog. Mm. Uh -huh. And then we add a spicy roasted red pepper coleslaw. Now, we've made this ahead, but it's a delicious sriracha based dressing. Okay. With roasted red peppers. And then what we do is we throw a few fried clams on top. Oh, oh Holly Schmidt, hold that thought. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with the author of Wieners Gone Wild. Greg, you can't have a bite yet. Please step aside. Yeah. Step aside. Thank you. <laughs> step aside and no one gets hurt. <laughs> We want to thank Hi, Holly Schmidt guys. from Wieners Gone Wild. Everyone. Delicious hot dogs, great recipes. Thank you so much. They hit the spot.